Yeah. Let's take them back. First step is that you're going to plug your G-Box into your TV set and bring it to the home screen like you see already ahead of you. Okay, the first thing you're going to have to do is plug your G-Box key into the G-Box. You're going to put it into the first USB port that says USB 1 on the G-Box. So you want the side of the G-Box key that has the four yellow stripes to be facing the front of the G-Box. When I say the front, I mean the part that has the blue light in front. So you want it to be facing that way and you want to put it in the first USB port. Now that our G-Box key is plugged into our G-Box, we're going to switch to the G-Box screen to show you the rest of the steps. Okay, once you're on the home screen, the first thing that you want to do is uh, make sure XBMC is in fact installed on your G-Box. See down here where it says XBMC, that means it's installed. Uh, if it's not installed on there, you can go over here to OTA Updater and then go down here to XBMC and press install. And if it's already installed over here, don't worry about it, just go to the next step. And the next step is you go to settings and then you go down here to apps. Then you go over here to where it says XBMC over here to the right and click it. And what you want to do is press clear data and then press OK and then clear cache. And I just give it a second to clear the data and clear the cache. Okay. And uh, if your box is totally brand new and you have never opened XBMC, you may not have to do this step. It might just like just like right now how it just did it and now I can't press clear data clear catch. If yours is like that, just skip this step. But basically what I was doing is uh, resetting the XBMC to factory settings. You know, I basically erased everything because you guys might have, you know, changed something to XBMC or something like that. And we need a clean version to uh, use our G box key. So uh, after you do that or not do that if you didn't have to, you're just gonna go back by pressing return. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go over here to File Manager, click it, and then you're going to go over here to External Storage. And uh, if you plugged your G-Box key correctly into your G-Box, you should see on this first option right here, it says SDA1, 7 items, or it might say a different number, but basically click on SDA1. And uh, First thing you're going to do is you're going to go down here where it says org.xbmc.xbmc and you're not going to click on it but what you're going to do is you're going to go on top of it and hold down the OK button on your remote. Okay, And this menu is going to pop up. Next you're going to press copy. Then you're going to go back by pressing return. Go back one more time and go to Android. Then you're going to go to data. Then once you're in here you're going to go to the top and press paste. And this will take about uh, probably two to three minutes, maybe four if it's slow. But uh, just let that finish up. Okay, next, after that's done, let's test to see if it works. So go all the way back to the home screen after it finishes and go to XPMC and turn it on and click it. Okay, and if you see this G-Box power screen with the moon, that means you successfully have used your G-Box key. Thank you for purchasing. And um, you can see if you go down here to videos and add-ons, we have all the add-ons we need in here now. And if you have purchased the G-Box key from Amazon or eBay, we would really appreciate it if you would leave us positive feedback so we could get more sales. So if all you want to do is program XBMC, you are done. Next, if you want to install the Android apps that we have on the G-Box key for you, uh, just go down here to the bottom left hand side and click the circle to exit. Okay, once you have done that, you're going to go back here to File Manager. And as I said, this is if you want to install the Android apps and games. So just go to File Manager and go back to External Storage and go to SDA1. And this time you're going to go over to where it says APKs and hold down the OK button. Once you do that, this screen is going to pop up and you're going to press copy. Next, you're going to press return on your remote and go all the way back to where it says Android. Then you're going to click on data and then you're going to click paste on the top 
of the screen. Okay, after you do that, go back to the home screen and go over to App Installer. Next, you're going to click Local Disk, and it's good. App Installer is going to search for all those apps we just copied to the G-Box. And we put about 20 apps and games on the G-Box key for you. And if you look, they're all right here. So you can just go through and install each one and, you know, see which ones you like. They're all wonderful games and apps. Uh, for example, let's install iHeartRadio. And click uh, install. Again, uh, we greatly appreciate it if you have purchased on eBay or Amazon. If you go leave us positive feedback on those sites. And in addition, we have included additional links underneath this video uh, that you might want to save to your records. You know, links on how to repair your G Box if you ever have any problems. Uh, also, links to buy already programmed G Boxes for a discount. And uh, we also included a link to our tutorial videos that show you how to use your G-Box better. And uh, thank you for your time, and I hope you guys have a wonderful time with your G-Box.